Welcome back to I Buy, Flip and Ship It. I am Brad. Today we had some pretty good sales. Got a couple of bolos for you. So check out what sold on eBay. From that storage unit, I purchased a lot of things. Uh, we sold that X-Men DVD that was new. Here's another one. This was Star Trek The Next Generation, uh, the complete series and you kind of see it's kind of got a cool uh, reflection on anyways this is brand new sealed and uh only paid when we factor everything together twenty dollars for this one and it sold for uh seventy dollars plus about six dollars shipping and the thing with this one was i have having a buyer potential buyer keep sending me offers and saying this is the most I could do and then I would decline it and then they would send me another offer All right this is it and then I would you know rebuttal with a higher price and then like I can't do this we do this and I just I, just, I ignored the guy at that point but anyways I knew this would sell for a better price than what that best offer was even if I had to hold out till Q4 because something like this would sell pretty well in Q4 when people are trying to buy presents for people especially fans of Star Trek so I held out, and it did sell. It only took another day. So I just waited another day, and I got my asking price, and I'm happy with that. This one also came from that lot from the storage unit. Now, this is Land of the Lost. This is the complete series, but it is not new. If it were new, I'd probably get a little more money for this. But uh, we're saying I got about $10 into this one. And this one sold for $33 plus about $5 shipping. Of course, medium mail on both of these. Uh, but yeah, so we're making some money on that already. I'm factoring it up. Hopefully we'll be in the profits very soon. Okay, got a lot of books here. This is a set of Pooh out and about with Pooh. It's a grow and learn set. Now there are 18 books. Um, I've got all 18 here. Found these at uh, City Thrift and it just put them out and this also comes with a 19th book which is the parent guide not technically something you read to the kids but I've got all of them I'll show a picture of it paid eight dollars it's a little up but it's a decent sell um, because when I comped it I could tell that it was going to have a profit that is definitely something within my range I don't mind it's sold for $45 plus what is this 12 shipping I guess I don't know anyways it's sold happy to get rid of it got this Baywatch Barbie from the storage bin that uh, this guy on Facebook posted had a whole bunch of DC and Marvel. Well, this was tucked away. He pulled it out for me. He just gave it to me. But when I factored in the cost of everything else, I'm putting this down as $5 invested and it sold for uh, 20 yeah, $20 plus about $9 shipping. And I got another Barbie from that uh, sale. That was uh, Daphne from Scooby-Doo. So we'll see how that does. Got this Link plush. This is from the Zelda Windmaker game. It is a 7-inch plush. I found this at the bins. It's pretty cool. I thought it was interesting enough. Link is a popular enough character that it would have some kind of value. So I think I only got about 50 cents, maybe 25 cents into him. And he sold for $10 free shipping. And I believe that this came from my Lego mystery box from Goodwill. We've got a minifig here. This one took a little bit of time to sell, but this is the penguin. And uh, with him, we got his little tiny vehicle. Came with a set with Batman and a little dynamite thing here. Uh, but anyways, got a dollar into these. That's what we're saying anyways. $15 free shipping. This is from set number 76158. So that's where all these things came from. You like videos like these? Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Back to it. Another VHS, uh, Bear in the Big Blue House, Volume 4. I need a little help. Plus, Lost Thing. Look at that guy. He's not creepy at all. Anyways, VHS can do good. I've sold several uh, Bear in the Big Blue House VHSs. They do a little bit above average for VHSs. So I would suggest if you see these, 
at least comp them. I did leave some behind when I found these at Goodwill for a dollar. Um, but I did pick up the ones that were going to be somewhere around 12 to $15, maybe even more. So just a little heads up for you guys. I got these Lego pieces here. These are uh, 32 length axle rod Technic pieces for Lego. And uh, probably only got about 25 cents into these. Really not that much. Came in a bulk buy and uh, these looked very interesting because you don't see these long ones too often. So I thought I'd break them off. And uh, well, not really break them, but break them out of the bulk and uh, sell them individually. And I sold them together for $15 free shipping. I got this Barbie at a local thrift store and at the time there wasn't too many listings and uh, it looked like it had a slow sell through rate but I went ahead and picked it up because it was at least worth buying and holding on to because it is does pertain to a certain market, University of Arkansas cheerleading. Um, so you're not going to see too much demand on that but they were selling. I think I only paid about $5 for this and it just sold probably because of the hype of the Barbie movie. I hear that Barbie... Uh, the old stuff is uh, doing pretty well right now. So if you have any Barbie stuff, go ahead and list that. Uh, but this one sold for, hold on, $35 plus $7 shipping. Now these dragons I found at the bins and probably got a dollar into both of these together. Um, they were, I think they're Schlake. Uh, no, Safari, LTD, and uh, I think this is the same. Uh, but anyways, Safari stuff can do decent. I know Schlape does well, but because they were dragons and they look pretty good detail-wise, no dragons can do pretty good. But uh, these sold together for $20 plus, I believe about $11 or $12 shipping. So always check these uh, these Safari Limited, I think is what it stands for, or Schleck stuff. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget while you're out there to keep on eyeing, buying, flipping, unshipping.